Hello everyone, welcome to Route to Mathematics. In this video, we're going to solve this interesting Olympiad question. So here we have given m factorial multiplied with n factorial equals to 10 factorial. Then find the value of m by n. So here we need to find out all the possible values of m and n which satisfy this given equation. Okay, so without any delay, let's just start the solution. So what we have given, we have given m factorial multiplied with n factorial equals to 10 factorial. Okay. Now in the next step, we can write n factorial equals to 10 factorial divided by m factorial. Okay. As we know that factorial means product of all positive integers. So the value of m and n must be greater than 0 and the value of m and n must be lies between 1 to 10. Okay. So we need to test for which value of m we are getting a perfect factorial value. Okay. So before that, just write down the factorial values of number 1 to 10. Okay. So 10 factorial is 3628800. 9 factorial is 3628800. 8 factorial is 40320, 7 factorial is 5040, 6 factorial is 720, 5 factorial is 120 and 4 factorial is 24, 3 factorial is 6, 2 factorial is 2, 1 factorial is 1, okay. Now, we'll put the value of m from 1 to 10 and just check for which value of m we are getting a perfect factorial value for n. Okay, so for m equals to 1, here n factorial will be 10 factorial divided by 1 factorial. So, here we are getting 10 factorial. So, m equals to 1 is a valid value. So, here we are getting m comma n equals to 1 comma 10 okay now for m equals to 2 n factorial will be 10 factorial divided by 2 factorial which is equals to 1 8 1 4 4 0 0 from the factorial list you can see that this is not a perfect factorial value so m equals to 2 get discarded now let's just move on to m equals to 3. n factorial equals to 10 factorial divided by 3 factorial equals to 6, 0, 4, 8, 0, 0. Same. This is not a perfect factorial value. So m equals to 3 also get discarded. Now for m equals to 4. n factorial equals to 10 factorial divided by 4 factorial. Here we are getting... 1, 5, 1, 2, 0, 0. This is also not a factorial value. So, m equals to 4 also get discarded. Now, for m equals to 5, n factorial equals to 10 factorial divided by 5 factorial, which is equals to 3, 0, 2, 4, 0. This is also not a factorial value. So, m equals to 5 also get discarded. Now, for m equals to 6, n factorial equals to 10 factorial divided by 6 factorial. Here we are getting 5, 0, 4, 0. Here you can see that 7 factorial is equals to 5, 0, 4, 0. So this is equals to 7 factorial. So here we are getting a perfect factorial value. So m equals to 6 is a valid answer. So here we are getting m, n equals to 6, 7. Okay, now for m equals to 7, n factorial equals to 10 factorial divided by 7 factorial which is equals to 720. Here you can see that 6 factorial is equals to 720. So this is equals to 6 factorial. So here we are getting a perfect factorial value. So m equals to 7 is a valid value. So here we are getting m comma n equals to 7 comma 6. Okay. 
now for m equals to 8 n factorial equals to 10 factorial divide by 8 factorial which is equals to 90 this is also not a perfect factorial value so m equals to 8 get discarded now for m equals to 9 n factorial equals to 10 factorial divided by 9 factorial here we are getting 10 this is also not a perfect factorial value so m equals to 9 also get discarded now for m equals to 10 n factorial equals to 10 factorial divide by 10 factorial so here we are getting 1 which is equals to 1 factorial which is a perfect factorial value so m equals to 10 is valid so here we are getting m comma n equals to 10 comma 1 okay so from above so all the possible values of m comma n we have 10 comma 1 comma 1 comma 10 6 comma 7 and 7 comma 6 okay so what are asked to find we are asked to find the value of m by n from corresponding values okay so here we are getting 10 1 by 10 6 by 7 and here we are getting 7 by 6 so these are the possible values of m by n I hope you have understood the solution. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel for more such interesting videos. Thank you.